Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. In terms of the actual science, Arctic alarmists are having a very difficult summer. Temperatures at the North Pole have been below the 1958 to 2002 average every day for the past few months. The North Pole may be having their coldest summer on record. Not surprisingly, Arctic sea ice is melting very slowly and is in the normal range. Arctic sea ice extent is almost exactly the same as it was on this date in 1995. But the Biden administration prefers propaganda over science. The White House says, human-caused climate change is propelling the Arctic into a dramatically different state than it was a few decades ago. Their goal, as always, is to demonize low-cost, reliable fossil fuels. So let's take a look at how they are perpetuating this fraud. This chart is from the 1990 report of the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. The associated text said, Satellite observations have been used to map sea ice extent routinely since the early 1970s. The American Navy Joint Ice Center has produced weekly charts which have been digitized by NOAA. In 1972 to 1975, sea ice extent was significantly less. Then in the 1995 report, they showed there was more sea ice in 1995 than there was in 1974. And as we just saw, there's as much sea ice now as there was on this date in 1995. Based on the 1995 IPCC report, it appears that sea ice extent now, which is the same as 1995, is higher than it was 50 years ago. And if we go back even further to the 1985 Department of Energy report, we can see that sea ice extent was even lower during the 1950s than it was during the early 1970s. This was confirmed by the New York Times. In 1958, the New York Times reported that glaciers and sea ice were disappearing very quickly. They said glaciers in the western United States had lost 50% of their ice in 70 years. And they predicted the Arctic Ocean would be ice-free within a generation, enabling ships to sail over the North Pole. But there's no ships sailing over the North Pole because the Arctic is full of ice. Between 1958 and 1970, conditions in the Arctic changed dramatically. This week in 1970, the New York Times reported U.S. and Soviet press studies of a colder Arctic. The United States and the Soviet Union are mounting large-scale investigations to determine why the Arctic climate is becoming more frigid, why parts of the Arctic sea ice have recently become ominously thicker, and whether the extent of that ice cover contributes to the onset of ice ages. Scientists were so worried about the expanding Arctic ice, they wanted to cover the ice with black coal dust in order to collect sunlight and melt the ice. So over a period of 12 years, as carbon dioxide increased, the Arctic got much colder. This ruined the global warming agenda, so the United Nations did exactly what you'd expect them to do. They altered the data. In the 2001 United Nations report, they showed 1995 sea ice extent much lower than it was in 1974. But in the 1995 United Nations report, they showed something completely different. In that report, they showed 1995 sea ice extent much higher than it was in 1974. Western governments have an agenda to demonize fossil fuels. And when the data doesn't suit their propaganda, they simply alter the data. The 1990 United Nations report said from 1972 to 1975, sea ice extent was significantly less, and they said this data came from satellites. But now the United Nations hides all the data before 1979 and says that's the beginning of the satellite era. So if we go back to the 1990 United Nations report, we can see why they hid all the data before 1979. 1979 was the peak year for Arctic sea ice. 1979 was the coldest year on record in Iceland. Because of the cold, there was a lot of ice that year, so it's a very convenient year for the United Nations to cherry pick. By hiding all the data before 1979, the United Nations and the Biden administration can make it look like the sea ice is disappearing and blame it on the burning of fossil fuels. 
But reality is that CI6N is the same now as it was in 1995. And CI6N in 1995 was higher than it was in the early 1970s. National Geographic published this map of Arctic sea ice in 1971. The ice edge was far off the coast from Alaska and Siberia. According to climate alarmists, this should have caused all the polar bears to drown. But polar bear populations have increased by a factor of three or four times since the 1970s. As is normally the case, the United Nations and the Biden administration are misinforming the public. The White House says, The trends in the Arctic are alarming and undeniable. We face a decisive moment. We must take action to confront the climate crisis. Which translated into reality means, we're presenting fake data and a fake theory in our efforts to shut down low-cost, reliable fuels. It's pretty clear that there are genuine forces of evil behind this global warming scam. And according to the latest polling, 79% of Democrats approve of this massive fraud. Many highly educated Democrats will believe whatever they read in the New York Times or hear on national public radio. This makes them highly susceptible to and defenseless against propaganda. And of course, this group of useful idiots believes they're highly intellectually superior. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on them for the past 14 years. You can visit Toto, Kyrie, Caesar, Tokinupla on the web at realclimatescience.com.